Well, hello there, guys, and welcome back to some more Total War Arena. It's been a long time since I've played this game, and I am actually playing with Miltiades, uh, the commander, the Greek commander here. Uh, we should start doing some biography videos if you guys think it's a good idea on the commanders in-game. If you guys do want to see that, let me know in the comments down below, and we will make it a priority for the future. Now, as you can see, I've got the very basic hoplites. I don't have the extra long spears, but believe it or not, these units are actually pretty diverse in their abilities. Um, despite the fact that they are hoplites, they actually perform pretty well in just regular close combat without being in a phalanx formation. So I would say not as good as legionaries, but almost as good. Um, and we're going to probably be using that uh, a little bit. We're not always going to be in a position to attack with our uh, pike phalanx. Sometimes we just need to go ahead and charge downwards. Over here we can see a lot of enemy troops. It looks like one of our friends uh, groups of hoplites is heading to try and meet them. If we can flank them, if they make contact, that would be great. Although I don't think we're going to. I think we're probably headed over here, if I'm not mistaken. Um, and actually, a lot of the units in this battle are um, enemy missile units, so I don't think we'll be using the Hoplite Phalanx too much. Uh, unless things get really hairy, I just don't see the point. So let me actually set the guys up over here so I can get a perfect sort of route here. And I'm actually going to go for a charge just to increase my speed here. I know it's a bit crazy, but I want to get up close and personal here with the enemy. And I want to do it quickly. That's it. That doesn't sound right, does it? I want to get up close and person that enemy. And, you know, I want to do it fast. And nobody needs to know. Nobody needs to find out. All right, let's send this guy over here. Um, so I'm going to attack one of their units with just one of my hoplite phalanxes. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, man. Oh, man. Hoplite phalanx. Oh, I don't know. I don't think. I think we did it a little too late. Maybe not. No, our spears are doing okay. I wonder if their soldiers are going to try and fight us. Phalanx formation once again. And we might end up hurting some of our comrades here. The problem with the phalanx is you can't really control it. Um, in terms of the direction it's going um, once it begins. So if this thing con continues, yeah, sure. We can absolutely turn. And actually, we're getting a ton of kills here. But the fact is, this unit, if it meets up with the back end of our other unit, they're not going to know the difference. They're going to end up killing each other. Let's see how we're doing over here against the Pelletes. I think these are Pelletes. Oh, no. They, those are actually enemy spear units. So we're not in phalanx formation against them. We don't really need to be. Uh, the close combat's actually working out quite well here. So I'm going to keep up the close combat. Break ranks so that our men are even freer to fight however they want. Now, this is scary. The enemy is behind us. This is not what I wanted. I'm going to have to chase and actually do a unit charge. So as you can see, just like a legionary unit, we do have a unit charge bonus with our unit here. We were doing so well with the phalanx, now I'm not so sure. I'm actually going to turn the phalanx around. And I'll take this guy out of the phalanx so he doesn't end up uh, stabbing his own units. And at this point, we've sandwiched the Romans in. Look at that. Milty 80s with the sandwich maneuver. I love that. That's beautiful. Got to keep on attacking and fighting, etc. I can't wait till we get up to the higher tiers. Right now we're at tier 4 or 5, I can't recall. Uh, but I want to get to tier 8, and I think that's going to make for some really cool battles, guys. Um, I'm not sure if you guys agree, but tier 8 is going to be an interesting tier. And here we go. The phalanx continues. Oh, it doesn't. Never mind. There we go. Look at that. Already the enemy is taking monumental losses here. I mean, we pretty much finished out uh, this enemy unit. Oh, enemy cavalry. Perfect. They're doing everything they can to uh, save their friends here. Let's get into phalanx formation. All right, we put up a damn good fight, though. If you guys see the bodies on the field, even if we die here, you can see those hit points popping up. We absolutely uh, did a number against the enemy there. And unfortunately, Milky 80s has gone down. That's going to be the end for him. But man, I think we did pretty damn good. Uh, if you guys look at these scores... Um, oh, sorry, we accidentally attacked our own units there. Let's get out of the family formation and attack Captain No. Um... I think uh, if you look at the enemy score versus our score, as long as the enemy doesn't take our base, this is pretty much a victory, as far as I can tell. Uh, I am still going to go for Vilcon, or Vicont, excuse me. 
Come on, hoplites versus hoplites, and it looks like they're going to run away. We're going to get a lot of actual points, and obviously points translate into uh, more gear later on for this battle. I do want to kill the ki I, want, I do want to get the kill on Vcom though, so I hope we do. And he's using the break ranks option. Incredibly, we're still alive. That's the power of Milty 80s. Even though he is dead now, he fought bravely. He fought bravely, Milty 80s. We'll go ahead and focus the rest of our men, the last of our men, on this uh, enemy hoplite unit. Or actually, it's not a hoplite unit. It's probably a principes or a stocky unit, one or the other. Although they do have uh, red togas, so that could be a principe. Yeah, I think those principes. Come on, boys. Look at that, guys. Wow. I think that's going to be a victory. I'm almost certain. We'll call this one the Milty 80 Sandwich if we do win. Uh, enemies down to significantly low margins here. So yeah, I think if we help with the base capture, we have two men that survived that battle uh, with Milty 80s. So I'm going to go ahead and move in here and hopefully we can help uh, with the touchdown pass here at the end. Now, I'm assuming that in these medieval battles, in the medieval, these ancient battles, um, you know, a lot of these in-battle um, casualties would be wounded men. Uh, but I want you guys to share your opinions. What do you guys think? There we go, and I believe that's going to be a victory. I can't wait to see my score. I hope it's a high score, but you never really know. I do think we got a lot of kills, though. We'll have we to wait and see. Victorious. And that's going to be victory. Glorious. Obviously, guys, if you have any suggestions um, as to who you'd like to see in Total War Arena, who you'd like to see me play as, what kind of units, it would really help uh, if you posted that in the comments down below. And also, don't forget to hit that like button and, of course, share the video with your friends. If you can, share it with the Total War community uh, as much as you want on social media, forums, etc. We really, really appreciate it. All right, guys. Thank you again. Um, I hope you had a blast here with Milty 80s. I wanted to make this a little bit of a shorter video, but I hope you guys had fun either way.